The McLoco beetle is a great high-vis beetle pattern that most fly fishers will be able to see when on the water. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Allen Fly Fishing D103 barbless hook in sizes 10 through 16. This particular hook is a down die, 1x long, fine wire barbless hook that has a great black finish and a super sharp point. So go ahead and check them out by visiting www.allenflyfishing.com. Let's begin by attaching our thread at the index point of the hook shank and advancing our thread back towards the bend of the hook. And go ahead and cut off the tag end of the thread. Continue to advance your thread halfway down the actual bend of the hook, then forward with your thread hanging at the index point of the hook shank. Now cut a strip of 2mm Peacock Loco Foam that is a bit wider than the gape of the hook. With the Peacock colored side of the foam facing down on top of the hook shank, go ahead and attach the foam at the index point with secure thread wraps. Begin to advance your thread back towards the bend of the hook, securing the foam to the hook shank as you wrap. It helps to pull the foam slightly toward the near side of the hook shank as you wrap. The thread toward from each thread wrap will align the foam on top of the hook shank. With the foam secured on top of the hook shank, halfway down the actual bend of the hook, go ahead and advance your thread up and down the hook shank, securing down the foam, creating a smooth thread base. With your thread hanging just in front of the foam, go ahead and pull out some peacock eye stubbing and apply it to your thread. Begin to advance your thread around the hook shank beginning just in front of the foam and create a smooth dove body ending just behind the eye. With minimal thread wraps, go ahead and advance your thread back to the 80% point of the hook shank. Now grab the foam and pull it forward, attaching it to the 80% point, ensuring that the foam is centered on top of the hook shank as you wrap. Now prepare a 1 to 1 and a half piece of black rubber leg material and attach it at the 80% point just below the foam onto the body of the fly. Now prepare another 1 to 1 and a half inch piece of black rubber leg material and attach it to the far side of the hook shank the same way you attached the first one. To create the hot spot of the fly, go ahead and prepare a 1 inch piece of orange McFly foam and attach it on top of the hook shank at the 80% point. To create the head of the beetle, go ahead and cut the foam in line with the eye of the hook and also cut the corners of the foam to create a roundish head. Now trim the front legs so they extend past the foam about one to one and a half eye lengths. Now go ahead and secure your thread to the fly at the 80% point with the whip finish tool and clip off the excess thread. Now go ahead and trim off the McFly foam by pulling it upward and cutting it with a pair of scissors. Now you want the back legs to be slightly longer than the front legs, so go ahead and cut the legs in line with the bend of the hook. With a pair of scissors, go ahead and trim off any excess dubbing, helping to create a smooth dubbed underbody.
And that's how you tie the McLoco Beetle.